said, midway through day one on the floor at Exponential 2022, we've been wandering around looking at platform after, after platform. Some of them have some unique properties. This caught our, our, caught our attention. I mean, where do the curves stop? It's a beautiful looking machine, but tell us what its mission is. So its mission is those applications that require uh, a long flight time, three plus hours of flight time, carries a payload of uh, six and a half, seven pounds, and its mission is basically a law enforcement, surveillance, inspection, pipeline, rail line, oil, gas lines, and so forth. Search and rescue is another application. Also, in the areas of agriculture, we have multispectral cameras to do plant health, so we can scan thousands of acres of farmland in just a few hours. Also, in the areas of forestry and firefighting, so we can go up and surveil, use infrared to look for hot spots, and then we go up during an actual fire and video and, and have the cameras. We have a live pedo, so we've got barometric pressure. We, all this sensor data can be fed down so you can predict where a fire is going and so forth. So those are the, some of the main missions. But everyone has a unique characteristic in the sense that it needs to be in the air for a long time. It needs to fly fairly fast. This cruises at 45 miles per hour. Its top speed is 62 miles per hour and uh, extremely reliable. How much time have you put on it? Right now on this particular model, we have about 200 hours, zero failures. And we've been flying it at our flight operations center in Las Vegas with temperatures up to 114 degrees. And it worked perfectly. And how is the vehicle piloted? Is this remotely piloted or is it autonomous? It is uh, remotely piloted. There is no joystick with flying this particular aircraft. Everything is pre-programmed in based on a flight plan. And the pilot monitors the flight on the computer. And if there's any changes or deviations required, he touches the screen to move the aircraft, put it into a loiter position, change its flight path, make it land, make it come home, and so forth. So all of those things you would normally do with a joystick is all done through a touch screen. What's the future for this platform? The future, you know, the big challenge right now for everybody is BV loss. I've got an aircraft here that can fly almost 200 miles on a battery charge and fly 60 miles an hour and it can't do that because, you know, beyond visual line of sight. It's the technology to get beyond past that. So I think there's two paths. One, you can load this down with technology, it reduces my payload, increases my cost dramatically, or you can look at some new tech that's why we're here as well. Or you can look at type certification. So if you go into type certification, you know, you get all the BB loss goes away. Yeah, the pilot is not just a 107, he's a real pilot, big deal. So it's those trade-offs you've got to look at and until we see something in the next year or so from the FAA to say, this is where BB loss is going to be. So we know where our money's going, we know how much we're going to spend and when we can have a product Type certification, I think, is still on the table as a consideration. Fred, thanks so much for speaking to Aero News and uh, the uh, Airborne Uncrewed program. We look forward to hearing how this does in the future. Please keep us up to date. Will do. Thank you, Jim.